Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nova Meister, and welcome to another Halo commentary, this time a post-production one. And this is quite a cool gameplay I got. I don't even know what these maps are yet. I'm still trying to get to terms with all the maps, and that guy committed suicide at the start. LOL. Uh, but yeah, I'm still trying to get familiar with all the maps. I kind of know my way around most of them now, apart from maybe the prisoner one, where I don't know how to get to the top, which can be really annoying in some of the game types. Uh, but I enjoy the normal Slayers, mostly in Halo anyway. Although some of the mini games and King of the Hills and that can be fun when you're with the team. Because I don't really run with the team too much. It kind of gets, eh. But what I want to talk to you guys uh, today about mainly is, look at that double kill. That's pretty cool. Uh, that, that's like good for me on Halo. Like That's some sick shit for me on Halo because I'm such a noob. But um, yeah, what I want to talk, to talk to you guys today about is kind of like the, not just, uh, the, well the, the thing is that brought me onto this was because Halo for me was something that I did when I first got Xbox 360 and it was kind of like the first thing along with Gears War 1 that I did when I went online and uh, I remember going to the shop when Halo 3 came out and uh, being so excited. I think it was like September sometime a few years ago and I went and picked it up on the, the day after release. My cousin came round and we did an all-nighter and it was so amazing and what I remember mostly from back when I was younger playing Xbox was Halo 3. Uh, as well as Gears War 1. But Halo 3 for me was just like, whenever I think back to any Halo, it kind of just makes me feel nostalgic. Now what I remember a lot from Halo 3 days were the fact there was game chat still, and if you guys remember, there was no party chat. Uh, if you, I remember going on with like a massive group of friends, and if we were playing, uh, if we had too many people to play Team Slayer or something like that, we had to all j invite each other to private chat, and we had to try and pick who we were going into party chat, uh, private chat with, because there was no party chat, and it would cause massive arguments and stuff like that. And I'm just trying to think: is party chat, has party chat been a massively good thing for Xbox 360 in terms of the games we play now, or has it? not been as good as maybe we we all thought it would be when it came out and one of the main consequences that makes this uh, definitely a good option is obviously because of those arguments with friends that you had and you get to all play with each other even though you're playing different games which was impossible beforehand so obviously I definitely take the fact that we have party chat over not having it because it just makes sense to it was always meant to happen it had to happen because it's just stupid if it didn't but one, of, there is a few negative factors that I've got from it, and that is definitely the fact that when I used to play Halo 3, we used to play like Infection, or we'd go into random public matches, and there'd always be people on the other team either shit talking, trash talking, making friends. Uh, that was kind of so awesome, like just seeing random people in the world, and they're always in the game chat. You've always got people with mics. You've always got people speaking. It was a new thing. I know online gaming have been out a lot when Halo 2 and Halo 1 and stuff was about on the normal Xbox but I never really got a chance to do that and so for me this was a completely new experience and uh, something that I loved so much that five years later I'm doing commentaries about it on YouTube and game chat for me was just like the best like it was like it was like wizardry it was like what the fuck man I'm pl playing with people around the world we're trash talking each other uh, like I just love the banter and stuff and you know trash talking even making friends I, I met some people on Xbox that I talked to for years and uh, it's kind of it's kind of like that on YouTube now I guess you meet people when you you talk to them for ages and we we learn each other meet each other for YouTube but on Xbox it used to be like that when everyone was in game chat and I met some people that hell I, I remember there was uh, some guy that uh, well this was this was absolute sacrilege the end of this story but I used, used to know some guy called bone to skate and we never we were complete two different two different completely completely different people rather uh and we were just playing game chat uh playing in game chat and we just start speaking and you guys have probably done it before speaking to a random guy and a year later they're still on your friends list well me and him used to be good friends and there was a lot of people like that uh, that I knew people that you always used to play with that happened just because randomly you had your mic in and they had their mic in and we got paired up in random games and uh one day, I remember this Bone to Skate guy, we were in game chat and uh, we, we got talking and then we were friends for ages and uh, we used to go on to TV channels and stuff like that and then what we'd do is be, be watching the TV whilst on the mic with each other in private chat and we'd bet on horses. Uh, on the virtual horses on like Sky Channel 967 and then I won like we'd bet virtual money a pound each and see who'd come on top and as a kid it was really fun 
I think we were like 14 at the time and he actually sent me the money in, a po in the post and it was just it was hilarious like doing stuff like that with people that you just wouldn't even know and uh, yeah it was just a really cool part and I seem to think that we've lost a bit of that and to be honest that bone to skate guy the reason why I say it's sacrilege is because he actually just sent me a message one day saying sorry mate getting a PS3 and I was like what but we've known each other for years and then we just never spoke again <laughs> so I guess I, I, I guess just so awesome the thought of that and it's kind of been taken away a little bit because no one really likes to participate in game chat anymore when you see someone on halo you think oh yeah high voice prick i don't want to speak to him let's go into party chat where we can just play with each other and it's kind of like we've lost that a lot and i really did like the whole banter and uh the communication and talk inside of you know game chat and also the fact that obviously you could talk strategies and stuff with people in the game you don't really get that no more like if you join a ranked gears match and you're on your own you don't normally hear the other team speak and uh, it's the same with all games and it is something that I miss um, but yeah that's that's pretty much that topic over really it's just uh, I wanted to express the fact that I did really I do really miss the game chat sometimes but like I said and look at this moment here that like I shoot I try and shoot him in the head that guy gets in the way I try and shoot him in the head again and that guy gets in the way and I finally managed to shoot him and then I pick up the double kill come round try and get the triple kill and he's just he's just standing there waiting for me he knows he's got me but um but yeah, I'm really excited to be playing Halo again, and Halo 4 is just going to be so amazing. Halo Anniversary, I've had to get used to a little bit, because I never even played Halo 1, and people have uh, told me it's quite a lot different, the whole mechanics of the pistol and stuff. Uh, definitely always use your pistol in this game, in the Anniversary game, instead of the Assault Rifle. Uh, even the DMR, in fact, cause I think it's only like a three shots to the head kill, which is just ridiculous for a starting weapon. It's kind of like its own little mini power weapon. And uh, as soon as I got used to that and started aiming for the head more, I kind of did a lot better in terms of uh, my KD and uh, some of the scores I was getting in games. And uh, it's kind of funny, really, because uh, as we were talking about game chat and people in there, I actually did get paired up with a few people yesterday who uh, were helping helping me out on this game because, I, I, like I said, I'm a bit of a noob on Halo ever since Halo 3. And uh, they were kind of just teaching me what to do on different maps and uh, it was mainly I think Beaver Creek which is the classic one and uh, we were just like trying to keep the middle of that map and I'm just trying to be a bit more aware of the maps now and then yeah, everything else will come and one thing that I do definitely need to get used to is definitely the sniper and the shotgun because the shotgun as I pick it up now is a lot different it's not really as OP as it was in Halo 3 but it has a lot more bullets and because of the addition to the pistol you can really easily get raped with it if you get caught if you get caught with a shotgun you're probably going to die with a sh shotgun because uh, the pistol just absolutely you can just run away while shooting your pistol when you just absolutely rape it and uh, it's just learning things like that learning how to snipe the sniper for me has been absolutely terrible I'm finding it hard to throw sticky grenades properly, but it's all slowly coming together and hopefully I'll be able to start bringing you more gameplays and when I do, and hopefully, uh, when I do, hopefully my gameplays will be improving for you guys to watch and also I'll be prepared for Halo 4 where I can hopefully be picking stuff up on that game quickly and getting a head start and being able to show you guys uh, some of the t uh, tips and techniques I use on that game and uh, all this game and taking them through and making 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 us better halo players when halo 4 comes out but yeah i think this gameplay is now coming to an end it was quite a good game i think i, I died i died a few times stupidly because i kind of get carried away with halo i can't help but rush as you can see i got like ridiculous amounts of kills compared to my my team because i rushed too much um and i got a few multi kills in there but it was a good game and uh i will hopefully be posting more that are better than this i died a few times stupidly with a sniper like i said and uh i'll be catching you guys next episode so as always